Um, so, back again, I guess. I'm going to be doing a corset story kind of like review type video because I have a top from them that I'm going to be matching my makeup to. Um, let me turn up a little bit of this light so you can see it. It's uh, kind of like steampunk. I think that's exactly what they put it under and I absolutely love it and my fiance loved it a lot so I went with this one. Um, I'm just going to cover it up so nothing gets on it. Um, and I'll show it with the results at the end. I'm hopefully not going to take too, too long this time. Last time it took probably about an hour, but that's probably about the average time for someone to do their makeup. So, I'm not harshing myself too bad. <laughs> The reason why I actually got from Corset Story is, well, one, I was looking for um, decent corsets that were not exactly going to break my wallet, and that's exactly what I found, but I found quality at the same time. Um, this is my foundation. It's the 24-hour from Maybelline. I'm using shade Ivory 115. Um, their boning is mostly what surprised me the most about them because the boning supports my body in a way that makes it feel like I'm not breaking all the time. And that's not just because like I'm a small person or anything. I just happen to have like a tiny rib cage or something. Um, but it really just hugs your figure in a way that you could never imagine. Um... I did feel like I was breaking all the time and now I just put this on when I don't want to have like an aching back because I'm holding myself up and it really, it's like, it really takes that weight off of my whole back. Alright, so I'm going to get my foundation just to, I like to use my foundation first because it really sets a nice even tone for contouring and all the rest. And it, that, that's just the way it works for me. I know contouring usually happens first for a lot, but my skin just doesn't like to take it that way. Um, Corset Story isn't actually in um, the United States. It is based in um, England, Wardwick if I pronounced that correctly. They have an abundance amount of history there, especially with the fashion industry. I did stop at my chin when it comes to my foundation, so I can blend with my foundation at the end because this is nice and harsh in the beginning. So I do do this contour first before the foundation. Um, but yeah, of course, this story, they also have, um, I didn't just get this one, actually. I got four, and it was part of this deal that they have, you know, buy one. Um, the most expensive one is the one you pay for, but um, it was great. I got this one, um, a very nice off-the-shoulder, like, starry one. That one um, actually is in, is in my engagement video. Um, that was lovely. <laughs> um, and then I got, let's see. Let's remember. I have them all in the back bedroom. Oh, a nice see-through black mesh one. That one is the sexiest one I have. And I actually got it because um, they sent me one that happened to be the wrong size and I mean totally okay things happen I got the rest the other three were perfectly fine fit amazing um, and uh, when I sent it back which they made very easily I just messaged them they were like oh here's the thing send it back pick an you know if you want that one or if you even want to pick a different one we'll send you that and I mean I often asked for the same one um she went and checked unfortunately they happened to be out 
for the time being um they were gonna get more in but i didn't want to wait they gave me the option and i was like no no that's fine and i picked the black one um which is ugh, utterly beautiful it has nice beads that drape right off of the hip and just fits very nicely they did put appliques right you know in the right areas um i did think about pasties and or like little stickers of some sort which would be totally fine but they aren't absolutely 100 percent needed which is amazing all right i'm gonna go in with my light contour get it open I do use mostly Maybelline products, so I will show you in each video, but they don't really change um, unless it's a shade that they change. This one is Cool Ivory, and it's just number one, um, but I don't get much sun, especially since now that it's winter. I'm hopefully going to change that this summer and get out on that biking trail we have near our house and get some tan. I have been watching Bailey Syrian or Syrian. I'm gonna have to watch her video. She pronounces her name all the time, but um, it just doesn't roll off my tongue. She is like an inspiration to how she does her videos and gets her colors to blend so nicely. Everything is just so on point, and she's such a mood, so I've been watching her a lot, and I'm hopefully learning, especially since I'm going, I've started to use like transitional colors with my eyeshadow, and not relying on all the blending that I was doing all the time, because it would take forever, but then I realized it's because I was trying to make the transitional color by blending. I mean, it worked, but it takes a lot of time. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go back in with my foundation, just with like, all over the thing to even out everything. Make it look like I'm not wearing a mask. I always like to Put my makeup to my top so to the fact that this is very steampunk i'm gonna make sure it's um not natural kind of steampunk definitely the bolder uh smoky eye because i know brown is a lot of the eye colors that are used in steampunk makeup but that's not technically where i want to go because i'm not too big into the whole natural I look but so I'm gonna do a black smoky and then red in wing and a dark lip but it's gonna be like a dark chocolate red okay so I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick before I set everything and for my eyebrows I use this bright red Ooh, there we go <laughs> and it not only is going to go with the look specifically, but it's going to go with my hair, which I'm thinking about changing soon. You can probably see my blondes poking through. I usually use Arctic Fox or Good Die Young. I'm really thinking about using Brad Mondo's new product. I want to get my hands on it, but we'll see. That's in the future just thinking about makeup and doing right now there we go i use these two brushes this one to fill this one just to brush out and even everything out i don't use too much of this specifically because this eyeshadow is unbelievably pigmented it's actually the only red i can get my fiance to see very well on my face. So 
so it is one of my favorites. I just started doing my eyebrows recently and I think I'm getting better, which is pretty cool. I do realize that maintaining and plucking my eyebrows is apparently a lot more important when I start to fill them than keeping them natural. Before it would just blend in and now it's um, a little obvious that I have no, no ton of hairs that probably don't, don't go there, but. Okay, eyebrows done. Gotta close that before I thing it somewhere, being clumsy. All right, now I'm gonna set my whole face, that way none of this goes away. I am using, let's see. Doesn't like giving me a color. Oh. Golden Caramel 332 for my bronzed areas, just so I can keep that contour. I am going to use a bigger brush because I don't want it to be super harsh. I like that, like, blendy look right there right underneath the cheekbone my dog decided to join me say hi morty huh And then I also contour right at my forehead hairline and blend that nicely because I also put that co contour there. Then I don't blend too, too much because I know this is going to blend it. And it kind of rounds out my face a little bit. dark contour, rest of my face gets set with the long lasting fix, it's a loose powder, matte finish all day long, I can't handle the dewy look myself, other girls can, um, like looks like glistening and beautiful, like the sun's always hitting them, for some reason it just looks like I went for a run and I am not doing hot. <laughs> so I definitely go for the matte, kind of like Miami beach kind of look. And this just kind of goes everywhere, sets everything in place. It is translucent. Yes, it goes on um, the white, but it doesn't do anything to my blending or my foundation, anything. It just goes on nice and mattify everything. Make sure nothing goes. Alright. And this is where I do my cheeks, highlighter, and blush. So I do use two highlighters. I use this white one first as a base because it adds a nice sparkle for this pink one. This pink one just goes on my cheeks, but this white one kind of highlights all the like nice um, light spots that hit the face. Let's see. Find the right brush. There it is. This is the brush that I use for my white. It's kind of got a flat base. Hello, did you want your face done, huh? You want your face done? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use this white one first. Right here at my T-zone. Light tapping, nothing too much. I don't want it like glistening or anything. I don't want it too sparkly. I do the same thing everywhere else. I don't want to rub it or anything like that. All 
All right, and then the pink one. I use a flat brush for this because I do like to do a nice wipe with this one. I don't get a whole generous amount on, but I do get a pretty good amount on. And I do one nice swipe on either side with that mass amount, and then I just go back with little circles. So it blends out and isn't just a line across my face when any kind of light hits it. Perfect. Also, it's just a, that little bit of color so I don't look too dead. And it blends nice with the color of my blush, which I am doing next. It is a wine color. I absolutely love this color. Um, I think it would work pretty much for anyone um, because it's just a nice subtle, like happy, you know, that rush of blood that you get to your cheeks when you're happy. Again, I don't get too much. I just do the one and then I do a nice round blend just across my cheeks. I don't want to do dots and look like a marionette or something. All right. And that's pretty much my base. Um, so next would be my eyeshadow. I'm going to use the palettes here. These are my two like favorite palettes that I have. I couldn't find like better pigments out there really, honestly, I, I just love them. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my transitional color of this Sunset Dream. It does have a bit of like metallic-y shine to it where the rest of the colors that I'm going to use are matte. So it's gonna add just that little bit of touch to it. Clean off my brush, make sure it's nice and clean. I'm gonna use a, just a fluffy, fluffy brush. I'm gonna get it on one side of my brush so that this side has like the ability to blend. What I'm doing is just tiny little circular motions out away from my crease. I'm not doing too thick or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not too heavy because I am going to go in with a crease color. And that's going to be the red that I happen to use on my eyebrows. It's just going to be a lot more set, a lot more pigment in there. So it's nice, nice and bright. under color because I do happen to do that at the same time sometimes I do it after but since I've started to do the transitional color I do the transitional color down here as well at the same time as doing my top I also don't have a lot of problem with fallout which is a reason why I do my eyes after my foundation but also because if I do my eyes before my foundation I happen to not get the right blend so yes normally it's done after but the blend that I get after with the matte face is just a lot better all right now in with that bright red it's even brighter without the plastic through it it's and I'm like the clumsiest person ever so I'm delicate with this I'm afraid one day I'm just gonna be holding it and it's gonna go bing. <laughs> it'd be definitely my luck and unfortunately not unfortunately it's very fortunate I have six other colors that's just like six times more the 
ability to be clumsy. Look how bright that goes right in there. And that transitional color does so much to keep the red from going straight into my eyebrow. It really leaves the ability to have that blend right there in between the eyebrow. These are like neon colors. I love, love like royal bright colors. I'm not the biggest fan of pastels, but I don't deny that they have a very good presence, especially now that I learned about transitional colors. They really help. Remember, I have this corset, that's the steampunk one, the starry night, the black mesh, and I also have a very nice blue and gold, um, very, like, beautifully textured, um, fabric. It's, it, it's honestly beautiful, and, um, it has nice silk ribbons that tie in the back to a to allow adjusting and I got these nice metal flower gem clips that hold those lace ties unbelievably well with the blue and gold kind of Asian beautiful style it it's gorgeous I really fell in love with that one it happened to be the first one I put on actually all right. So I'm going to go with the under eye with the red super quick. Nice blend. And since this is like a bold steampunk red look, I'm going to do my inner eye just a plain black base, just bold so it pops the red. And I'm going to use, it is called Rave in this palette, but it is unbelievably dark. Can I help you? Hmm? Sit down. <laughs> Morty likes to join my makeup. He likes to smell it and eat it, but I don't let him, so he gets a little upset. Okay, so I'm gonna use a nice flat brush to get this on because that way I can almost place it where I would want it. So this is the brush I'm going to be using. It's very flat. That way I can just pick up a nice flat base of it. Now I'm not kidding about the pigment. You saw this is what it looks like. Nice and white, pinkish. I barely touched it. <laughs> and it just comes off very dark. It has been the best black that I have found. Since I want this to stick very well, I am going to use a little tiny bit of this to touch right in the center. And give it something to sit on. Don't need anything special to like blend it in. Just gonna use my finger, pat it around. I'm just gonna pat it right on where I want it to be solid and then I will start to, I'll use another brush that's clean to 
blend it into the crease. And go right into the corner. Right along that lash line. I got both of these palettes at TJ Maxx. Nothing like too special. I'm pretty sure TJ Maxx happens to be like almost everywhere. They actually have amazing picks of makeup, especially for palettes. blending underneath and in the center corner of my eye don't want it too dark So it's very bold cut line right now. So it doesn't look the very best, which is when I take this clean brush right here and blend it into this crease. It is stained unbelievably green. Actually, I think I'm actually going to use this big brush that I used to put the red in. You can see that harsh line just kind of buff away. I'm not turning my brush or anything, just going back and forth with that harsh line. like that. Alright, and I'm gonna go back in with that transitional color that I had, that nice sparkly kind of orange. I find it the most like beautiful orange because it's like a very sunset. And I'm gonna put that right in the corner with that black. would be the eyeshadow next I'm going to do my wings um, that I'm also using of course a Maybelline product um, there this one happens to be their charcoal they do have a blackest black um, it just happened to not be in the store when I happened to go pick up new and I don't see the point of getting more until I'm out so this charcoal works beautifully anyway it's so dark so get my brush cleaned after every use um, so it's nice and soft for the next time I want to use it but I do get a nice generous amount and have a nice rounded edge so I can get this portion and then I sharpen it kind of flatten out to get that point Since my eyeshadow is so dark, I am kind of just going along the lash line so it blends in and doesn't have too much of a harsh line. 
that and I don't use um, eyelashes because I'm not the best at them right now. But I am practicing, but I always get them on, get them comfortable. And then for some reason I start blinking and they just poke me in the eyeball. So I'm getting there. I've gotten them on, which is a good step. Again, right along this lash line since everything's so dark it's not exactly visible except to keep um, some of that like wipe away away and then I'm gonna go right underneath those lashes just like that okay now I'm gonna flatten it out so I can get a long point Nice and flat, very thin. And I go from the corner to my temple or the top of my ear. I don't really go any farther down because then it probably wouldn't fit the shape of my eye very well. So I got that started and I got it right out to a point where I can point it and then fill it in. Every day is a perfect wing day. There we go. So it definitely curves up to my temple. I did a nice upward wing instead of like a straight wing. second one is always a lot easier for me because I happen to get a lot better knowing what the first one looks like. like they're sisters instead of twins today but that's okay I'm just gonna use my light one I use this for all the light contour and I just go right around them for any kind of problems and then go back in with a nice red or whatever happens to be the base in color it just kind of lightens things up. All right, 
Now I'm gonna use this new, it's Lash Sensational. I used to use a different one, but this particular brush happens to be like the little tiny plastic ones and it combs through the eyelash a lot nicer. Leaves you with nice singular lashes, no clumps. I used to forget my bottom lashes and since I started doing them obviously like forever ago but I I was like why didn't I do this before like it must have looked so weird so I'm gonna use this pencil and go in with my at my waterline a nice finished look doesn't leave that just plain and open all right and now I'm gonna do my lips I'm going to use that chocolatey color it is mocha invention but it's got this red tinge like maroon kind of color and I find it beautiful but not only did I find the color beautiful but I opened it and it smells like chocolate. <laughs> I can't get over the smell it's like right in my nose so This I have been absolutely in love with since I have found it. It is their Super Stay Matte Ink Collection. I have a ton of their colors, and it's honestly the only lipstick that I use now because it really, it actually doesn't come off. Like, I mean, it may flake, maybe if you eat unbelievably greasy food, but it doesn't go anywhere once it's dry. I mean, yeah, it does take maybe about... 15 minutes but it's not a super wipeable it's more like just a simple tacky kind of feeling but not too sticky which is great because I hate the sticky feeling and then in the end I just use their long lasting spray give it a nice little shake and I do put it everywhere because I want everywhere to stay So this is the final look. I am probably gonna do something to my hair. Um, 
have a lot of problem with headaches, so I don't happen to put my hair up very often, you know, pull on it and stuff. So I'll probably just like throw it up in some clips, um, some nice gold hoops because, you know, gold, of course. Um, I do find this a little bit more piratey than steampunk. Um, so I like, um, that's kind of also the root of why I went on the bolder look. Um, but there are so many different styles of makeup that could go with this particular one. But, um, yeah, this is just the one that I picked. It, I put it with some black jeans. Um, it is a zip up on the side. The rest of them do usually have like clips right down the front. Um, but these are the ties. They are based in the middle. Um, great for adjusting the bottom half or the top half depending on what and then also keeping it nice and tight right at the waist. Um, not only do um, these pieces look great with it, they're adjustable and they can come off. So you can just take them off and it can just be a plain red corset. It doesn't have to have all the like extra pieces. Just like that can be just plain. I mean, I do find it a little bit piratey, very steampunk, but they're just a great company and you should definitely go after it. And very much worth it. The support that they give you are unquestionable. <laughs> but hope you guys liked it and maybe go look at their website which I left in the description so have a good day